What's up guys? Today is Friday, August 23rd. We got some unboxing to do. So it's going to be a real quick vlog, just going over a couple new packages that we got today. Let's uh, go ahead and roll that intro and let's get into these new packages. Let's get it. Alright, so we got two new packages. Um, this is uh, the first one. This first one, if you can't tell. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, you can tell. It's from, well, it's from Adorama. Um, let's take a look and see what we got. It's a box inside of another box. By the way, remember to turn off the fans in today's video. Apologize for yesterday's video. Um, I left it running. Actually, that one's still going. There must be two speeds to that fan. But based on the audio levels, I think we're okay. So anyway, let's continue on. So video tripod. This is a new tripod. Um, we've been shooting a lot of videos lately uh, with our, or we've been shooting a lot of a lot of our uh, wedding videos with an extra camera. Um, kind of toying around with the idea of getting a third camera in the mix. Um, so like when Amanda doesn't have a wedding shoot, um, I commandeer hers. So I've got the two Nikon's and then the GH5. Um, that kind of setup allows me to have two stationary cameras, one always on the groom, one always on the bride, and then the GH5 I use kind of with myself, kind of down the aisle, close-up shots of like the kiss and like the exchanging of vows and stuff like that. Um, so we've had to rent uh, tripods for that second camera just because I didn't want to actually have to purchase one um, because I didn't know which one, you know, when I'd be using it and when I'm not. But, um, for the next uh, for the next few weddings, uh, we'll have three cameras. Um, so I was like, you know what? We're planning on getting a third camera at some point in time here, um, whether that's another GH5 or another Nikon to match the one that we have um, in the short term. Um, so we need to pick up. We need to get another tripod. And the ones that we were renting, I was not impressed with at all. Uh, the one that we have is actually the same one that we were renting and I'm just like you know what we need something a little more sturdy um, the other thing that kind of came into mind which kind of sparked this purchase was um, the last piece of equipment that we got was that was that slider the camera slider and that the tripod that we had just isn't strong enough to hold the weight of the camera on one side once you start sliding the camera off the center of the uh, tripod the whole thing just starts to lean um, so this is a true, um, th and the difference is, um, and once you'll see, you'll see it here in a second, the difference between the, the two is the, the tripod that we're using is more of a um, photographer's tripod. It doesn't have, it's not, doesn't have a fluid head, fluid head. It does swivel and pivot and all that stuff, um, but it's not, it's not meant for that kind of thing. This, on the other hand, this one's a little bit more heavy duty, which I'm definitely looking forward to using. It comes with this uh, nice, uh, nice, nice bag, um, which is great. Not necessarily needed, but um, you know we have got our newer bag uh, to store stuff in. So we might go ahead and put put it in here just for like added protection. We'll see, uh, but nice added feature. Um, so the difference you can tell already is how big this thing is, right? Like the 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 ball head or the ball head, the fluid head of this thing is probably about I don't want to say twice the size of the one that we had. Um, there's a lot more um, features available for this one. So like the arm itself um, is adjustable. You can you know just tighten it down if you want. You know however you want it. However you feel comfortable with it. It's it's 
customizable. And it's also ambidextrous, so you can put it on the left or the right, which is great. Um, the other thing that I'm really excited about, um, and I guess I gotta figure out how to use this before tomorrow when we go on our next wedding shoot. Oh, here we go. Is it's got a, let's see here, lens. Oh, here we go. There we go. You're all looking at me like I'm dumb. Um, so the nice thing about this is you'll see in this package here, um, they've got compatible plates. Um, so I can literally, uh, when, when I'm not shooting with three cameras, when I'm shooting with two cameras, I'll set this tripod up where our third camera would normally go fi fixated on the groom. And during like the main part of the uh, wedding, I'll have, you know, the, so I'll have the Nikon facing the bride and this will be facing where the groom is and I'll still have the GH5 in my hand. Before, if I wanted to put my the GH5 on an actual tripod, on my tripod, I'd have to take off the plate that's on the monopod, put the plate on that's on the tripod that matches, and then attach it. Now, with these two compatible plates, I can literally just keep one of the plate, the plate off of the tripod and start the wedding with the GH5 on a plate, on the monopod, you know, kind of following them around doing what I need to do. I'm very comfortable with the monopod, and then when it's time to switch back, I can release the monopod with the plate on the camera and just stick it right on top of the tripod. This having having the similar plate that fits the monopod and the tripod together is just a huge, huge win for us. Um, so the uh, the other thing that you'll notice too here, and I'll get the, let's get this tightened down just real quick. So the other thing too that you'll notice is the legs on, on this are much, much thicker. Um, so they're just added storage. They basically release down to their individuals, but there's two, basically two legs per like section. Whereas with the tripod that we're using now only has one pet, one leg per section and it gets significantly thinner through like as you go down further to the point where it's better stabilization wise for you not to extend the bottom section of this trip of that tripod and um, raise up the vertical piece of the tripod itself it's a lot it's a lot steadier uh, whereas with this you've got the extra the extra stability of the you know the split piping um, and the heavier duty aluminum so um, really looking forward to it. Uh, let's see here. We've got a nice pan tilt going on here. So um, one of the, it's kind of a little bit of a little bit of adjustment because it's a little bit tighter, which is great for those nice smooth transitions and movements. Um, let's see here. Uh, the actual here we go. So then this locks it down, and then we can you got the pan here. So it's nice and easy. Pans 360 degrees, which is great. Um, really, really looking forward to using this, this piece of equipment. Um, breaks down um, fairly small. I mean, it's, it's, it's about the same size broken down as our regular tripod, but the added bulk having the, the three, the three uh, sections versus uh, that the single leg three sections does give it a little bit extra bulk but at the end of the day it's uh, it's a much heavier duty uh, piece of equipment and that's what that's what we were looking for so you got your locking mechanism for your plate there then you've got your locking mechanism for your your tilt and then locking mechanism right here for your pan so all in all I like it not too shabby The other cool thing about that tripod is it gives you a couple different uh, uh, screw head mounting heads or mounting. Uh, the other cool thing about that tripod is it gives you a couple different uh, um, screw heads. So basically, the one that you're using for your camera, there's going to be one that you don't use, obviously. And rather than having to store that in the bag or whatever, there's actually a place to store those uh, those screws. So for whatever reason, I don't know why you would need the extra one if you didn't have the camera. But um, you know that way you don't lose it, right? And you know it's just it's just nice because if you go to sell that piece of equipment, you have all the parts for it, and you don't have to be like, oh well, it doesn't have the extra screw that it came with originally. No, you can actually save that and not have to worry about losing it. So, and the, th and the thing is, it's just little things like that, little like little nuances that really kind of go a long way with me. Um, but it's just a highly 
highly well built piece of uh, piece of uh, equipment. So this one, this is our, this is going to be our monopod. So this is this is from Manfrotto. Uh, it's a little bit more of a it's a little bit of a more known company um, in the videography and photography uh, industry. Well, the tripod that we purchased was more of on the on the budget end. This is we kind of splurged a little bit with the, the monopod. Um, this will probably be the final version of the mono, monopod that we purchase. Um, a little bit more on the pricey side, but again, you're paying for you know functionality. You're paying for durability, um, and uh, you're paying for the name too. What we were looking for was compatibility. The biggest thing that I was looking for was compatibility between the tripod and the monopod. That was by far the biggest thing. Um, ooh, that was loud. So kind of the same, the same bottom half uh, we're used to. Um, you got these flip out legs, which the monopod that we have, which so let me be 100% clear. The monopod that we have works perfectly well. Love the thing to death. The the reason why we went there's two reasons why we went with a new monopod. Number one, the main one was the GH5 did not sit sturdy enough on the actual monopod itself. There was just a little bit of jiggle, and you couldn't. The screw was tightened down well enough. I guess you could have. Um, we could have put something on the plate itself to kind of give it a little bit more cushion to kind of space the gap out a little bit, but it works for every other camera. I'm not exactly sure why it wasn't, you know, the screw might have been too deep for the GH5. I'm not really 100% sure, but so that was one reason. The other reason why we decided to go with this particular monopod was, again, because of the, the plate itself, and let's see here. So... So the reason, so the other reason we got this one is because of the plate itself. So again, I don't all the screws and stuff are in here, um, but you know this is the this is the plate I was talking about that it's compatible with the monopod, with the tripod, and it's just it's just going to be so much easier. Um, there's got to be a better way to pull this off. Oh, you, oh, that's sick. So you uh, so you tighten it down with you tighten down uh, the plate with this little knob here, and then it also acts as your, your lever to kind of clamp it down and then you can get it. that's nice that's nice uh, you got a nice rubberized grip here for the top of it uh, you've got a three section monopod here which is great um, sturdy enough to hold a camera a lens microphone uh, HD monitor things like that hold it upright uh, you've got a You've got a kind of rotating bottom piece here, and then you can also lift it up and kind of rotate it around. So if you're not quite on level ground, you, know, you can kind of lean to the left a little bit. Now obviously you'll have to compensate, you know, your your picture or whatever, but at least you'll have like you know another point of contact for stability purposes. So you'll have to zoom out a little bit so that you can tilt your your picture and post uh, because obviously you're going to be you know a little bit sideways, but this is nice because you can still have that stability and not have to worry about just rocking on two legs. Our last monopod had that same functionality um, as far as being able to lock it down so it's upright and then also pivot. Um, the nice thing about this is it's a push button release, so you can put you push it up and now you know that it's it's re it's released. You can rotate it around and pivot and then push it back down and you're good to and you, you're good to go. With our other monopod, the the issue was that it was on a screw head, so you basically had to unscrew it, but you had to be careful because when you unscrewed it, you started to unscrew the base of the actual monopod. So you might lift up and take, you know, take the the tripod feet off the bottom of the monopod. So um, again, budget friendly monopod, love it to death. Still I'm gonna use it, right? We're still gonna use it. So when we hire our second shooters, uh, they'll be using that one with one of the Nikons and the uh, GH5 will be going on the Manfrotto. So yeah, so just, uh, you know, this, like I said, this will probably be the final version of the monopod that we purchase. Um, 
especially with the, the larger plate. Um, this just gives us more functionality. So like down the road, if we want to upgrade again from like the GH5 for whatever reason, you know, that's years and years and years down the road. Um, this plate is big enough to hold a larger camera uh, in more in line like with the, the Canon series, the, vi the actual video, video, like the cameras that are designed specifically for video, not the DSLRs that are, that kind of balance both. So what you're looking at is really the final version of uh, our tripod setup. So um, inside here, it looks like you're also getting the handle, which is great. Let's see here, without dumping everything all over the place. Uh, let's see here. So again, camera or uh, monopod, just like the tripod, is ambidextrous, so you can literally put it on any way you like, if you like the handle down, if you like the handle up, to the side, left, right, however you want to do it, um, that's there. Um, let's see here. Also get, uh, let's see, we also get instructions on how to install our um, mount. Uh, this, I believe, I believe this is for if you want to unscrew the trifo the if you want to unscrew the the legs off of the monopod, you can put this on the bottom of it, and it'll be a true monopod without the the three legs. Which I don't know why you would want to do that. Um, being able to set this thing down with your camera on it is a lifesaver. If you don't have the legs, then you're having to put your camera on its side into the grass, into the ground, wherever it is, um, that's very dangerous. So um, this uh, we will not be using, so that will be going back into the bag. Um, so, so yeah, so that's our new, uh, new pieces of equipment. I'm really, like I said, I'm really excited to get the uh, chance to use them. All right guys, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap the vlog up there. We've got a lot of work to get done. Uh, before tomorrow we're going to be in Camden, Ohio shooting another wedding. Um, I'm really excited because we get to play with new equipment. Uh, not only the monopod and the tripod, but we're also going to be able to use the uh, slider as well. Um, didn't get a chance to use it last weekend. Like I told you, the uh, tripod that we had just isn't strong enough to hold the camera, the lens, the microphone, and still make it to the edge of the slider perfectly. Uh, we'll do some testing tonight uh, before we actually get to the ceremony tomorrow um, just to make sure that it's going to work. Um, if it doesn't, then um, you know we'll go back to the drawing board. We might have to rig up something to kind of hold up the, you know, prop up the ends. Um, and that's going to have to require some engineering um, to fabricate a piece that will grasp onto the center of the tripod and then put two arms out. There are, uh, I did notice that there are some... Um, uh, holes in the side of the slider so we could probably put some type of c-clamp or something on there um, if we can't get like a screw and not to fix through uh, fix through it um, and have some type of like arm system to support it so hopefully it'll work out if it doesn't you know we'll make it work so yeah so like I said super excited about the new equipment um, We've got, uh, we also picked up, uh, we also received the last couple pieces of the computer. We're still just waiting on the processor at this point. Um, I did notice that they are for sale in uh, about 45 minutes away from uh, Dayton. So we might actually cancel our B&H order and get our money back for that and then just go to the store here locally and purchase it so that we can start this build. Um, because I really want to start shooting in 4K. And uh, the moment we can get that PC together, um, the quicker we can start shooting and uh, editing in 4K. So um, really, really looking forward to it. So, all right guys, well, thank you so much for watching. Make sure uh, you uh, hit the like button. If you really, if you enjoyed, if you enjoyed the video, uh, consider getting subscribed or sharing the, the video with your friends and family. It would be greatly appreciated. Alright guys, so we will see you on Monday. Thanks for watching again and have a great night.